everybody and welcome back! I have great news. Three positive things, right? We have 10 subscribers! Yes! <laughs> 10 subscribers! Thank you all! Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. You and me, babe. You and me, babe. You're just nothing else but you. We're ready to go. Pause thing number two. We're gonna have to do it this way. I mean, because I only had nine. Now I have ten! Double digits, you guys! Double digits! We're gonna have to do a giveaway! I mean, people do giveaways for going from 99 to 100. And from 999 to 1000. Well, we're gonna do a giveaway for going from 9 to 10! So, you know what? Pause the thing in the group. We're going to give away whatever you want. Ha! Yes! Whatever you want. Whatever you want. Anything that you want to pick out from our online store, that's the prize. Don't you love it? I just love it. I just love it. All right, bonus. Bonus positive thing. What do you got to do to win? Not a darn tootin' thing. Ha! You don't have to tag any of your friends. You don't have to uh, like and subscribe. You don't have to sign up for the email list. You don't have to do any of that. I would love it if you did all of those things. But you don't have to. You do not have to. You do not have to. You can tell me that you want me. That's all you got to do. Let me know that you want to win the giveaway. Because <clears throat> nobody likes doing all that stuff. Nobody likes doing all that stuff. At least I don't. I don't. However, I will say this regarding the email list. Um, that is a great way to let me know that you want it, is to go and browse all the fun stuff on collegetimley.com, and there will be a contact form that you can fill out and go bottom of it and let me know, hey, I want to be in the, in the, the contest, or it's not a contest, in the giveaway. I want to win the giveaway. That's all I got to do. Um... And sign up for the email list. The email list goes out not even on a regular basis. So I'm not going to... The only time it goes out is when I'm going to let you know that we have new stuff in the store. And a lot of times you get a coupon code for something. Not I promise what that is. But... Uh, but yeah, there are advantages to that. So maybe that's the way you choose to let me know, but you can let me know that way. You can let me know via Instagram. You can let me know via, uh, YouTube, uh, Facebook, however you choose to let me know that you are interested in picking out whatever you want from the website you just let me know 
song yet. <laughs> That's, that's a, that's a pretty that I'm working on right now and um, I put his handle on the other day and his handle uh, as it dried pulled away from the pot uh, so um, but at that point it was dry right so most people would just you know, pitch it and start over. Uh, but I have a wet box. <laughs> so I put him in the wet box. He's wet again. And I've slipped in, I've scored this area here with my pen tool. And you can see how this attachment right here, it's just, I like it when they're attached a little bit better than that this is not likely to let go although you can see this little dark spot right there that could be not attached real great um you know i mean it's just it's one of those it's if you have the opportunity to not risk it don't risk it you ought to be able to see right in here how he lifted up a little bit. If you can't see that, I'm very sorry, but I don't have my glasses on. I can't see that far without my glasses on, so I have no idea if you're seeing it or not because the screen is out of focus. Nonetheless. So, I'm gonna add... In the little, ah, ha, ha, ha. So I have a tiny little amount of clay here, and I'm going to roll that into the tiniest little coil, tiniest little coil. And then now that he's wet again because of my wet box, for those of you who don't know what a wet box is, it is just a box with, with a big old piece of plaster in the bottom of it. And um, that piece of plaster will um, soak up or release moisture um, to any pieces that are in there to the moisture content of the plaster. So if the plaster is really wet and you put a dry piece in there, it will make your piece wetter. If, and that's why we call it a wet box, because that's the whole point. If we want our pieces to dry out, we don't need a dry box. Um, so, uh, but you could do the same thing. Have a dry piece of plaster, put your wet pieces in there and dry them out and they might dry out faster. But generally in pottery, that's not something you want to do. Because then you just end up with cracking pieces all over the place. And you see that on that, oh, they have that, that pottery reality show now that, nowadays. Um, I, I am not a follower, um, just cause it's not my, I don't feel like they show the pottery. I, the only reason I want to watch it is for the pottery, not the people. Um, but, uh, no, no, n no, no love lost there really, but, um, the 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 couple of things that I did watch 
I'm just filling time here, guys, while I do this. Uh, but the but the couple of of shows like that that I did watch, um, you know, they put these things in a dry box overnight and then fire them the next day. Oh my gosh, that's not the way pottery works. And all these people that normally don't have a problem with their pots, all their pots break in the kiln. Well, of course they do. Uh, most of the time or all of the time in pottery, you know, drying things out faster is not, is not a good idea. Not a good idea. All right. So, here we go. I filled that area. He looks a lot better. But I'm going to keep going. Because there's a little nick right in here that I don't really like. So, I'm going to get another T9C piece of clay. And since the stuff that I just put in there is fresh, I think this will be fine. A little droplet of water on there. Um, don't knock over the fairy house. Sometimes, Emily, sometimes. I really like using this tool. This is actually a carving tool. Um, and it came in that, you know, first kit that every, you know, you get when you need tools. Um, the multi-use kit or whatever that comes with the sponge and a couple of, and a pen tool and, you know, just the, the basics. It comes in the, in the basic kit. But it does such a such a great job because it's curved does such a great job with things like this smearing out the slip and stuff all right so that looks a little better don't you think fantastic and that looks a little better so now I've got a, a, a pretty good clean attachment all the way down. So I'm liking that. Still have, if I can get four fingers in the handle when it is wet and after it's fired to completion, it will be a three finger handle. For me. So, good stuff. I'm a three finger handle fan. Some people are two finger handle. Some people are one finger handle. Tim is a four finger handle. And yet, his favorite mugs are not four finger. Alrighty. So I thought I would show you the progress. Are they fantastic? So I have three plates. I have three tumblers. So a shorter tumbler, we're short by But you know, I mean, it's just, oh, it's been a busy week and I haven't been out here as much as I want to. So hopefully that will change. Um, I have four, five bowls. And then of course, way over, I'm still, I, way over doing it on the mugs. Um, but all five of the ones that I had originally done, one of these is Tim's, uh, one of these is uh, got brown clay on it apparently. Uh, one of these was a tumbler that was supposed to be a tumbler and it ended up being a mug. So, but there you have it. We're on the way. We're on the way! We're on the way! We're on the way!
Happy dance. All right. Sorry about that. <laughs> then last, but definitely not least, let me know that you want to be in a giveaway. Um, so wherever you follow us, wherever you want to let us know that you want to be in the giveaway, you just let us know that you want to be in the giveaway. And if you want to tell your friends that would be fantastic. Uh, that would be, that would be fantastic. <laughs> but, uh, see you next time.